Every day, incredible strides are being made in the study of astronomy. New technologies are being created, new objects are being discovered, and current understandings are being shifted. Although we don't tend to think of the practical impact of space exploration, there is certainly never a dull moment in the study of astronomy. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we share three recent discoveries and the impact that they have on us here on Earth. Around a black hole, magnetic fields keep gas tendrils intact. Far away, an incredible galaxy called NGC 1275 exists, about 250 million light-years from Earth, and in its center are long filaments of glowing gas. This galaxy is one of the closest elliptical galaxies from Earth. These structures have survived for a very long time, roughly 100 million years, which is quite remarkable because the filaments stretch out from the NGC 1275 galaxy to the Perseus Cluster, a hostile environment that has a strong pull of gravity. It would seem that these kinds of conditions would have destroyed the filaments rather quickly, yet they continue to survive rather than collapse into stars. With new color images from the Hubble Space Telescope, scientists have discovered the reason why these tendrils have survived for so long. There are magnetic fields keeping them intact. The magnetic fields hold power over the charged particles in the tendrils' gas-like protons and electrons. NGC 1275 itself is an elliptical galaxy with a unique structure, and it is built around a black hole. The tendrils are possibly an effect of the galaxy's black hole. The black hole produced glowing bubbles that reach out from the center of the galaxy. These bubbles then pull colder gas that trails behind them in the form of filaments. According to researchers who studied these tendrils, they are about 20,000 light-years long and 200 light-years wide. While the magnetic field is keeping them intact, they have been found to be only 0.01% of the strength of the magnetic field of the Earth's surface. Despite this apparently weaker magnetic field, these beautiful tendrils could not exist without them. The research team led by Andy Fabian of the University of Cambridge has stated, we can see that the magnetic fields are crucial for these complex filaments, both for their survival and for their integrity. The discovery that the pattern of tendrils is being held together by magnetic fields may possibly be helpful in determining how other similar structures are being held together in more distant galaxies. NASA to test catapult that flings objects into space at 5,000 miles per hour. Improvements in space accessibility are expected due to NASA's plan to catapult objects into space at 5,000 miles per hour with the help of a company called Spin Launch. Spin Launch is a startup that was founded in 2014 with the aim of enabling rapid and lower cost deployments of satellites into low Earth orbit. The company is backed by an impressive team of high-profile supporters, including Airbus Ventures, Google Ventures, and Kleiner Perkins. The team hopes to begin its first orbital test flight in 2025 with the Suborbital Accelerator Launch System they are developing. This launch system will rotate a carbon fiber arm at hypersonic speeds of about 5,000 miles per hour. All this will happen within a steel vacuum chamber with a diameter of about 300 feet. The high speeds will propel a launch vehicle that contains a satellite into the sky, and a small propulsion will then be needed to reach the necessary orbit position once the vehicle is above the stratosphere. The vehicle is expected to orbit faster than most rockets. These innovative plans could change the nature of space accessibility as we know it. The launch system is expected to lessen the cost, time, and complexity of space exploration, making it possible to explore space more than we ever have before. According to Spin Launch, the launch system does not require any advances in technology or material science and can be created using the materials and hardware that already exist today. Jonathan Yaney, the CEO of Spin Launch, has stated that what started as an innovative idea to make space more accessible has materialized into a technically mature and game-changing approach to launch. 
Test launches are already underway, beginning with a test flight of the launch system that occurred in October of 2021 from Spaceport America in New Mexico. This first launch propelled a vehicle at high speeds and the reusable flight vehicle was recovered. Since then, the team has launched objects into the sky at almost 1,000 miles per hour, although none have reached orbit yet. Spin Launch will continue testing throughout 2022 with regular test flights at different velocities and with varying types of vehicles. If the launch is successful, access to space will increase exponentially, giving scientists more opportunities to study the sky above. NASA confirms largest comet NASA has confirmed the largest comet nucleus ever witnessed with the help of the Hubble Space Telescope. The comet C2014UN271 has a massive nucleus with a diameter of about 80 miles. Most comets' nuclei are about 50 times smaller than that of C2014UN271. Not only is the comet's nucleus larger than most, but the mass of the comet is estimated to be about 500 trillion tons. The nucleus is also expected to be as black as charcoal. Pedro Bernardinelli and Gary Bernstein discovered comet C2014UN271 using archival images from the Cerro Tololo Inter-American Observatory in Chile. Astronomers have been observing the comet since 2010, when the comet was about 3 billion miles away from the Sun. That is about the same average distance to Neptune. According to David Jewett, a professor at the University of California, Los Angeles, astronomers have always assumed the comet was massive because it is incredibly bright for being so far away, and now they have the evidence to prove it. Measuring the comet's nucleus from such a distance was no easy feat. One of the main challenges was determining how to differentiate the nucleus from the dusty coma it was enveloped by when the comet is such a great distance away. To get over the distance hurdle and measure the comet, scientists needed to create a computer model that fit the images they got from the Hubble telescope's data of the comet's bright light. The team then subtracted the comma's glow, leaving the nucleus behind. The comet is expected to never get within 1 billion miles of the Sun despite its high traveling speed of 22,000 miles per hour. The discovery of this comet is fascinating for the astronomy world, as the largest comet nucleus observed before this was 20 miles smaller in diameter. That comet, C2002 VQ94, was roughly 60 miles in diameter and was discovered in 2002 by the Lincoln Near-Earth Asteroid Research Project. Comet C2014 UN271 also gives insight into the size distribution of comets in the Oort cloud, a hypothesized nesting area of trillions of comets. The more astronomers can study this comet and others around it, the better they can understand the Oort cloud and its role in the evolution of the solar system. The discoveries being made by astronomers are having a profound impact on our understanding of the universe. It seems like each discovery changes our current understanding of how the universe operates. While some questions still remain unanswered, it's clear that astronomy is a constantly evolving science that is providing us with more knowledge every day. But what do you make of these interesting discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.